What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Vegas Pro 15 and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to add text to your video in Vegas Pro 15. Okay, so once you open up uh, the software, you just want to right click and then do insert video track. Then you want to right click, then do text, uh, import text media. Uh, sometimes it takes a little while, but this window right here will pop up and it should say sample text right here. Uh, right when it, so you this is the part right here where you can actually uh, change the text so you can put whatever you want right here um, I'm just gonna leave it sample text I like to expand this down a little bit so you can see all the options and there are many options and I'm gonna be going over a lot of them so you can change the size right here of the text uh, I don't usually do this I just usually do the scale and that seems to work fine for me and if you want to move it around really quick, you can grab like the text when it's in the window, and you can move it around uh, to wherever you want it to be. So you can have it at the top, the bottom, or whatever. So if you want to change the color, you just click this right here, and you can it comes up with any of these things. And if you want it to be a certain color that's already on your screen, you hit this little button right here. Uh, it's like a little it's like a little pencil looking thing. I just I don't know what it's called, but if you just click on it. And then this tool comes up, so you can click anywhere on your desktop. I'm just going to click uh, this gray right here. And then that makes it that color. If you want it to be like, if you want it to be white, you just click on the white. It makes it white again. So you can also change it with this little thing right here. You can make it like any color in the rainbow. Uh, yeah, there's so many different colors. And if you want to make it more transparent, you can drag this. And then down here is fully transparent up here is uh, completely opaque if you want to make an animation from it you just go here to animation then do none and then there's all these different options uh, you can you really have to experiment with what one you want uh, like let's just try action flip you want to go then just play it and then it comes in it's doing an action flip and then it goes away so yeah there's many different options for the animation for location, this is the same thing as basically just dragging this around. I personally find it easier just to drag this around, but you can drag it around down here. This is mostly used for when you're doing an animation, uh, when it's like you want it to move over time. And then come down here, advance. There's all these different options. Uh, like the only one of these I use is line spacing. Uh, like it really depends upon like what you use that for and then you have outline um, out which is you can just choose the color right here say you want uh, pink you can just do that and then outline width and then there you go the outlines pink then you can go down to shadow I think this looks pretty cool when you're doing like a thumbnail or something uh, shadow color I just always leave black because that's usually the color of a shadow and then Y uh, and then the offset X and offset Y usually uh, make it a, a little bit better if they're farther away I have a black background so you can't really see it so I might as well make the shadow white or just blue um, oh yeah I don't I can't really see it but oh yeah then you have to push the shadow enable and then there you go the shadow and then that's about it for the different effects and then to choose the font you just go down here and then you can change it by like click on these or you can just start typing it so say you want like um like impact or something i'm pretty sure that's one of the options right here oh you actually have to highlight it and then there you go it's in a different font so i hope this video got, helped you guys out um yeah it's kind of confusing using the text uh, generator in Vegas Pro 15 it does take a little bit to get used to but once you get used to it it works really good so make sure you guys leak, leave a like and subscribe and turn on the push notifications so you can actually see when I upload a video and you can be filled in with the new uh, Vegas Pro 15 update so yeah see you guys next time